in 2016 paper five variable Carnot map problem was there that we will solve in this lecture following is the k map of a boolean function of five variables p q r s and x are the five variables for the boolean function the minimum sum of products or SOP expression for the function is there are four options given in the problem these are the four options and we have to find out the correct option based on the result obtained from this five variable k map I hope you know how to deal with five variable k map if you don't know I will explain how to deal with this type of maps when you have 3d map five variable k map is a 3d map I will try to draw the 3d view of this map given in the problem this first map is when x is equal to 0 the second map is when x is equal to 1 x is the msb for the boolean function and q is the lsb for the given boolean function x is msb because when we change x from 0 to 1 the change is significant in order to draw five variable k map or to understand five variable k map you must first make the truth table for five variables x is the msb then we have r s p q these are the five variables and let's say the output is equal to y x is 0 for the first 16 cases and this is when we make our first map let's say map 1 this map is the map 1 and in this map x is equal to 0 for the first 16 cases we have 16 cells and the value of output for the 16 combinations are already filled in this map after this x is equal to 1 for the next 16 cases x is equal to 1 for the next 16 cases and we have map 2 for this 16 combinations this is the map 2 and value of output y for this 16 combinations are already filled in this k map now I will try to obtain the 3D view of this 5 variable k map I will quickly draw the 3D view of the 5 variable k map then we will find out the minimal sum of products form once you have the 3D view you can clearly see the corresponding cells have same values of R, S, P and Q for example these two cells these two cells have the same values of R, S, P and Q all four are zero but x is changing x is 0 for this cell and x is equal to 1 for this cell if these two cells if these two cells have 1 you can combine these two ones like this and you will get r complement s complement p complement q complement x is equal to 1 because it is changing from 0 to 1 if you try to combine them individually then let's see what we have from this cell we have r complement s complement p complement q complement and x complement because x is equal to 0 and for this cell we have r complement s complement p complement q complement x because x is equal to 1 we can take r complement s complement p complement q complement common in bracket we have x complement or x which is equal to 1 so finally we have this value which we got after combining these two ones now we can easily obtain the sum of product forms using this five variable k map I will fill this k map quickly with the values given in the problem this is how your k map will look once you fill it with the given values in the problem now we will make group of ones first I will try to combine these two ones corresponding these two cells you have zero in the other k map so we cannot combine the two cells like this but we can combine these two cells we can combine these two cells with these two cells and I will call it P1 in this K map I will combine these two ones these two ones with these two ones because we have zeros corresponding to these four ones I will call this group P2 so the minimize SOP expression minimize SOP expression is P1 or P2 from P1 from P1 we have S because s is 1 for these two rows then we have q complement because q is 0 for these two columns s and q complement and x complement because x is equal to 0 for p2 we have s complement q x so this is the minimized SOP form obtained from this five variable k map and if you see the four options you will find option b is the correct option i will end this lecture here see you in the next one